All right, Kylie, thank you. Well, Grace College is making a statement with several big science investments. The $8 million Dr. Dane A. Miller Science Complex scheduled to open next month. The Miller Science Complex will house new and renovated labs, classrooms, offices, and the Lilly Center for Lakes and Streams, an education and research center focused on the more than 100 lakes and streams in Kosciuszko County. Grace College President Bill Kadip and the director of the Lilly Center for Lakes and Streams, Nate Bosch, are here now with the tales. And gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Uh, Bill, I'll, I'll start with you. Um, this is all part of, as I kind of touched on there, a focus on science uh, at Grace. Why, why so? Yeah, for years, about three decades, we had a strong pre-med, pre-health professional programs. And um, really starting about 11 years ago now, bringing in the Lilly Center for Lakes and Streams, we felt we wanted to expand. We had um, some experience and we could bring that excellence to other areas. So it started with the lakes and streams, but now other areas of science and technology as yeah. well. The Dr. Dane A. Miller uh, Science Complex, first of all, named after a real giant, not only in the industry, but in the community and, and yeah, in our absolutely. state as well. Absolutely. Yeah, um, Dane Miller was on our steering committee as we thought about facilities, thought about a campaign close friend of Grace College for years. Um, honestly, about six weeks after he passed, um, Mary Louise called and said, Bill, don't we need to get working on that science center? Yeah. And um, she's been just phenomenal. The support she helped us get in the community, but her lead gift has made this building possible. Very good. We're going to talk about the center in a moment. But Nate, I want to uh, touch base with you. The Lilly Center for Lakes and Streams, this is new space for you. You've been around, and the center's been around for a while. This is going to be a new space. What right. will this enable uh, you to do? Yeah, so first off, we're going to be able to impact our community even more with the research that we do, because now we're going to have a send-off spot for all of our uh, sophisticated equipment. We're also going to have research lab space. Where we'll be able to do a lot of our analyses in-house rather than sending samples out. And then for education purposes, we've, up until this point, 6,000 K-12 students, 27 schools, it's all been us going out to them. We now will have a learning destination where we can bring people onto campus and have even greater impacts. Experiential learning, uh, very, yes. uh, very impactful, uh, obviously. Right. Talk about some of the projects, because I, I think the number is over 100 lakes and streams in mm -hmm. Kosciuszko County. Mm -hmm. What are some of the kinds of, of specific projects and, and research um, initiatives that you undertake? Yeah. So. We'll look at things like blue-green algae, which is a type of algae which can produce toxins, which can be harmful to people and their pets. So we're trying to tackle that issue. We looked at things like E. coli, which have been all around Indiana on public swimming beaches for years and years and figuring out sources and how we can impact and fix those things. We'll look at boating. We'll look at uh, agricultural producers in the area, streams coming into wow. our lakes, uh, pretty much any aspect of the lake that, that is good or could be better. Uh, we'll look at those things and, and uh, yeah. set some, uh, some future action points from that. Very impactful uh, research. Um, Bill, talk about the center uh, now because part, part of a broader uh, issue. What types of things will go on there? First of all, a lot of eye-catching uh, features uh, at the center, right? Yeah, and I'll ask Nate in a minute yeah. to talk about one. But we've been able, that building was built originally in 1978. So we, it's completely gutted and put back mm -hmm. together plus about 13,000 square feet of additional space, really primarily for the Center for Lakes and Streams, the Lilly Center, plus some general labs. So we have our science classes, math classes. Um, there's one feature Nate has to tell you about. It's a special distinctive thing for freshwater. Tell them yeah, about that. I was aquarium. just meeting with one of our supporters <laughs> yesterday in Fort Wayne who's, who's funding this aspect. So we're going to have a virtual aquarium, which is going to be really cool. Um, your kids are going to be able to draw their own fish, put it into a, squint, a scanner, and then see that fish in the aquarium in an animated form swimming around in front oh, of wow. them. Um, we so got, we got to check that out. It's that going to be really cool. Sounds yeah. very cool. Uh, as we wrap up, Bill, uh, to me, you know, Grace College, a great liberal arts institution, but this focus on science and some of these other areas that you're talking about, is it part of the, you think, the changing face of liberal arts education? I, I do. I think it's the changing face, but also a reality. We've known our kind of graduates um, have gone into meaningful careers for years. I think just in a little more open, intentional way, pairing that liberal arts, what we call our Grace Core, integrated 
with a vocational direction. We think it's what families want, it's what employers want, but it's that combination. All right, exciting things going on at Grace College. Dr. Bill Kadip, the president uh, at Grace College. Also, Dr. Nate Bosch, the director of the Lilly Center for Lakes and Streams. We'll get up and check out that, uh, that virtual aquarium. Absolutely. That sounds very cool. Thank you both for being here. Thank you so much.